What a year 2020 has been. I'm going to share with you some of my highs and lows and how God blessed me this year. I started this year off getting baptized and being on fire for Jesus and glorifying Him. I then started falling back into my old ways and my sinful habits. I was introduced to my now small group leader around this time and I didn't realize at the time how much of a blessing her and my small group would be this year. Right before COVID hit, I was able to visit my best friend and her boyfriend who lived in California at the time. We didn't realize when flying him on March 12th that this trip was going to be our last sense of normal for a while. We ended up getting an extra week of spring break at NKU and everything went virtual. I turned 20 years old and spent that day with my family and then made TikToks with a few of my close friends that night. I got to spend so much time with those that I love the most. I started falling back more into my sinful habits. It didn't help that I didn't do anything to strengthen my relationship with God. I actually did the opposite. I then took a vacation to Cumberland with my roommates Brian and Sophia and Brian's family. We had the time of our lives for a few short days. Not too long after that, several churches in the tri-state came together for Unified Sensi Prayer Walk. This was an amazing time with thousands of amazing people taking a step towards justice for our country. It was truly so life-changing and gave me so much hope. Brianne, Sophia, and I then moved into our apartment together in August. As Debbie Ryan and Jesse would say, it feels like a party every day. Then Brianne, Ryan, Hunter, and I visited Brianne and Ryan's brother and sister-in-law in Louisville. It was amazing being able to spend a few days with them and truly have some fun. Also, congratulations Ross and Elisa on your new baby boy. You guys are already amazing parents. Brianne, her family, and I also went to see Brianne's cousin Michaela get married to Dane. Michaela and Dane, I'm so happy for you guys and I loved being able to be a part of your big day. I also learned how much God loves me, despite how much I have fallen and still fall back into my sin. Almost this entire year I felt like I had no purpose, that there was no way God could so love me after I sinned so much after giving my life to Him. But having a community of believers around me helped so much. Because of them and talking to them, I realized that God loves all of us no matter what we have been through or what we have done. I even got to share my testimony to thousands of people. I did hesitate a little when I was asked to do it because I knew a lot of people would see it, but then that became my reason for doing it. If my testimony can help just one person out there, that's amazing. But even if it doesn't help anyone, I'm still super grateful to have given my testimony and be living proof of what God's love and His grace can do for someone who literally wanted nothing to do with Him and wanted to live for the world. All in all, 2020 was an amazing year and it was definitely one for the books. There were a lot of setbacks and bad things that happened, but 2020 was a year for everyone's eyes to be open and to grow in so many areas of life. I was able to get closer with so many of my friends and I realized it's so important to spend time with those that you love and really cherish it because it is one of the things that helped me get through this year. I was able to really grow my relationship with God as well. He made it clear to me that not only do I have a purpose, but you do as well. Don't ever go through life thinking you don't have a purpose. You are so important and loved by everyone, and you are especially loved by the Creator, the Lord. Thank you 2020 for all the memories and lessons, but bring it on 2021. Can't wait to see what's in store for the next year.